Okay guys, welcome back to another video. So this is a tutorial on a vehicle or mech suit that I thought I would never ever do. Uh, this is the Grunt Goblin. Uh, this is from Halo 5 only. I think it is in Halo Wars 2 as well, uh, but it's a different color scheme and it is a slightly different build anyway. Uh, but I don't think I'm ever going to actually do the banished one because it's just, it's not much different. And on this scale, you can't really change much except like the uh, the color scheme. So if you want, if you do want to change that out, I guess you can just replace the uh, the blue stain clay with uh, maybe stone or something like that. It will look way more boring, but whatever. So there are so many materials on this that <laughs> you wouldn't expect it, but yeah, there's quite a lot of materials on this. Um, and the reason that I'm mentioning that is because what we're going to do is instead of starting with all the uh, materials that you are going to need for the build, I'm just going to grab them as I go along. There is about, uh, I think, one and a half uh, hot bar worth of materials. So yeah, there is quite a lot. I think that would be 15-ish uh, in total, uh, maybe 16 materials. So yeah, we're just going to start at the feet and work up and grab the materials as we go along. So you're going to start with uh, dark oak fenskate, blue terracotta, leather, and cobblestone wall. So we're going to go over to, uh, let's see, uh, where can I go? Over here, should be fine. So I haven't planned this one ahead really, so I'm just going to do it as I uh, as I go. You're just going to put a blue there, blue there, and then a fence in front of both of those, and then a lever behind it, turn that down. Then a cobblestone wall on top, like so. Then you're going to want a, uh, what's this one? Stone brick slab. You're going to put that there. Then you're going to take a uh, blue terracotta again, a lever there lever there and then flip those down and that makes your legs as you can see well not your legs the uh, the grunt goblins legs not yours <laughs> then you can put a uh, stem brick slab on the top half behind and then a blue terracotta behind that take a uh, hopper and just stick that on there we're going to leave that back bit for now because now we're going to go to the front half do a anvil you're going to put that just here like so uh, it doesn't really matter which way you turn it, although I think that one is a bit better because it will uh, allow the end rods to join up to it a little bit better. So you're going to put an end rod on either side like so. Once you've done that, you're then going to go to uh, here. We're going to do a few temporary blocks. So what you're going to do is put a uh, block there and then one down. Block there, one down. One in front, one in front. Lever there and lever there and then flip that one to make that join up and you've got the arms pretty much done. Now you're going to put a lever on the front here, flip that down, lever on the bottom and flip that forward. So you get kind of hands like that. Then on the uh, on the left side, this is where the needle cannon is, you're going to put a skeleton skull on the front. Like so, you can throw that away for now. Then take your uh, magenta stained glass pane, put one on the front, one on the side. And then take a trap door and you're going to put that on the bottom. Like so. Okay. On the back, I didn't do that on that one, but on the back, you're just going to put some uh, some buttons. So you're going to put one there and there, like so. And then next up, just uh, take stone brick stairs. You're going to put that in front of the anvil. You will have to crouch to place that so you don't accidentally open the anvil thing. On top of that, upside down stone brick stair, you're going to put another one and then a blue. And then you're going to take a, uh, I think it's cyan stained glass, or it might be light blue, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll go with light blue. Light blue stained glass, uh, not pane, just glass, and then a blue terracotta, then a stone brick slab there, and a trapdoor iron just there. Throw those two away now. Uh, you want to take a item frame now, and also a sea lantern. So item frame and sea lantern. The item frames are going to go there and there. Oops. And then the sea lantern is going to go inside it like so. And to add a little bit more of effect, just uh, rotate that by one. So you get that, basically. And now you can throw the uh, item frame and sea lanterns away, and also the end rods and the anvil. Um, and pretty much everything, to be honest. I don't think we need any of these anymore now. Uh, the last thing we need to do is take wooden trap doors. You're going to put one there and there. Flip those down. There and there. Flip those down like so. And I think that's about it, uh, actually. So let me just check. Yeah? Cool. So yeah, that's the uh, Grunt Goblin. For the size, this is about 2.5 scale, so it is uh, quite a bit bigger than it should be. Uh, but in reality, it's literally uh, about 2 meters tall, so that would be uh, like that, basically. <laughs> actually, no, sorry, not 2 meters. It's about, 
Yeah, four. No, actually. No. I think I calculated it wrong because... No, this is only about 1.5 scale, I think. Uh, I think the real thing would be roughly four meters tall. I'm not sure exactly how tall it is, but it's somewhere around that. Uh, maximum three. Uh, but yeah, that's still closer to scale than I thought it was, to be honest. So yeah, uh, I mean, it's not not too bad, uh, bad of a build, actually. I, I really like it. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do this a few weeks ago. I did kind of have a break, and during that break, I was messing around with uh, some new building techniques and new materials. Uh, this was particularly in the Star Wars stuff. So levers and trap doors and stuff. Never really used them before in my builds, um, but now, yeah, I mean, uh, it works out way better. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully more Halo tutorials will be coming with this new style. Uh, we do have an updated Warthog that will be coming soon. Another note is that this video is actually um, recorded right now, so I'm going to upload this today. Uh, there are a load of other Halo tutorials, most, uh, mostly UNSC stuff, that are due to be uploaded, but they were recorded like uh, a few months ago. So I know they will be uploaded later on, but those, bear in mind, I said this in another video, but bear in mind that those were recorded a long time before I used these building techniques. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Anyway guys, so yeah, we have a few Grunt Goblins now, that's cool. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.